Welcome to my shop, and I want to show you the uh, latest project that just I just finished here in the shop. Um, and it is a uh, stand-up desk, which we're building at the uh, woodworking school in a course in a couple weeks, um, which will be a project in joinery mostly. This one was built uh, uh, all with hand tools. Uh, the one that we're going to do it at the school will have pre-cut dimension parts, but all the joinery will be hand joinery. Um, as you can see, I have my uh, sloping top, and I have it at a height which is right at the height of my elbow, because that's how I'm going to stand and write. All the components of this are laid out in ratios, based on the hand span. And this is a joiner's project. This is not a cabinet maker's project. This is in the realm of the joiner, which means that this whole thing sits together, keeps itself together, is structurally sound without the use of any fasteners, without the use of glue. Uh, it's the structure of the joints, the configuration of the joints, and their internal relationships that actually keep this whole thing together. The dovetails are just a very convenient way to put the corners together, and it's a great exercise, of course, for the course in doing dovetails. Uh, what we have up here between the apron and the leg, this is a drawbore mortise and tenon. So when these pegs are driven in, they suck the joint together. It's tremendously strong as long as these things are kept tight to, together, and that's exactly what the drawbore kind of holds it in place. Uh, down here, the cross stretcher comes through. And it has a little key, which may or may not be loose. Sometimes they get loose over time, and you can just tap them in again. These side stretchers have through mortise and tenons, which are wedged apart. There's little ebony wedges, and they, uh, again, spread this tenon apart a little bit into the mortise, which has a little splay in it, and it becomes a dovetail. I think that is about it for the joinery. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, send them to me on the uh, YouTube uh, page or uh, at the, write to me at the school.